What's up, Bulls fans? Welcome back to Let's Talk Bulls. On this episode, we're talking about the Chicago Bulls getting the victory against the Portland Trailblazers, 110 to 107, barely squeezing out the victory in a game where at the beginning, it looked like they were going to be able to sit their starters, especially going up 20 points at one point. But the Trailblazers fought back. They did the things you got to do to keep yourself in the game and give yourself a chance to win. But the Bulls did not play terrible, okay? Shooting 44% from the field. They shot 33% from the three-point line and 81% from the free throw line, shooting 21 free throws in this game. And part of that was DeMar DeRozan going to work. You also saw Vooch and Drummond play Big in the post. We found them in the paint. And Ayodosumu had another amazing game, as well as some good Batim minutes. We're going to talk about all that. But first, you got to hear the intro. Give me the hot sauce. Give me the hot sauce, Bob. For the lead. Go! Oh. Did you not get the memo? Dosumu for the lead. I want to go higher. Oh, my goodness. Welcome to the Let's Talk Bulls podcast. Welcome back to Let's Talk Bulls, your number one Bulls podcast in Chicago. And let's get right into it. When you look at it, the Chicago Bulls tried their best to close out this game early. They got a good victory. And for once, it was fun to watch the Chicago Bulls play. We were getting out on the fast break. We were playing with a fast pace. We were hitting our threes, getting fast break dunks, and the team looked like they were gelling. Ball movement, off the ball movement, everything seemed to be working out in our favor, and it looked like we were going to have another 20-point victory in back-to-back -back games. We were going to beat a team that should easily be a victory for us, but as usual, the Bulls kind of collapsed. Right, They didn't play the best when it came into the second half, and they let that lead dwindle. And that's something that just has to be fixed going forward. The Bulls have to beat teams like this single-handedly, and it has to be a clear victory. Right, We have DeMar DeRozan playing some of the most minutes possible as an NBA player. These are the games where you let him sit the fourth quarter. But with the Bulls, he, he doesn't get that chance because we are always coming down to the last two to three minutes of a game to have a chance at winning, okay? But even with that, DeMar DeRozan, even with all the minutes, still put in another great game, 28 points, five rebounds, six assists, 10 for 17 from the field, and he also was seven for seven from the free throw line, okay? DeMar was getting to the free throw line. He was causing Portland to have a lot of fouls, and that's where DeMar shines, right? Get to the free throw line, hit your mid-range shots, and just play your game. We also had a great game from Alex Caruso, five points, four rebounds, four assists. He did everything that you love to see from Alex, but once again, it looked like he could have twisted his ankle and gotten hurt, and at this point, every game I'm worried. You never know. Every time Alex hits the floor, you're afraid he's going to be injured. It's just what you see from him, and you can't reel him back. It's just the type of player he is, and you love his heart. You love his grit, but sometimes it's scary when you know that he doesn't care too much to protect his body if it means he can win or help the team win. Now, Torrey Craig also chipped in six points, two rebounds, two assists, had a great game, just being around the ball, doing all the things you want him to do, off-ball movement, talking to his team, and just being there to put that extra effort in. We also saw a great game from Vooch with 22 points, nine rebounds, 10 for 17 from the field, two for four from the three-point line. His three-point shot has been looking a lot better lately, okay? He's not afraid to shoot. He's not hesitating. Honestly, I'm okay with Vooch hitting two for four. I'm okay with you taking four three-point shots if you're going to hit two of them. But the big news with Vooch is he's getting into the paint. He's starting to play like Orlando Vooch. He's strong. You have great footwork when you're posting players up. Go into the paint and go to work. And the best part is not only is he recognizing this, not only is he seeing mismatches and attacking, the Bulls' young players are finding him in the post at the start of the year last year it looked like they were afraid to pass on the ball they were so afraid to get a turnover trying to throw that ball into the post now they're forcing it in there if they have to and that's a great thing and part of that you have to give credit to is Andre Drummond right in this game nine points 11 rebounds 
Five for five from the free throw line for Andre Drummond. Okay, five for five for Andre Drummond from the free throw line. He's been working on that immensely. But him being strong, him getting into the post and showing what happens when you play through your bigs is really helping not only get Vooch sparked to do the same, but it's showing the team that when you have your big men doing that, when you give them the ball, it helps you get more shots. It helps you get easier shots because the double team comes and you're left wide open. It helps ball movement. It helps everything if you just play through your big man and they're starting to do that. And I love to see it. Now, we also saw a great game, but Tim came in. Nine points, four rebounds, one assist, four for nine from the field, one for three from the three-point line, and his one shot was a buzzer beater at the end of the third, which wasn't an easy shot, but he made it work. I love seeing Batim in this game. I love seeing him on this team, and I know I left a voicemail on uh, Chicago Bulls Central talking about it. I'll talk a little bit about it here. I definitely think the sky's the limit for Batim. I think next year he's going to come back and show us a lot of things with this team. And I think he's only hit the surface of what he's going to be in the league. He is going to be a bona fide player in this league. Now, maybe he won't be a star. Maybe he won't be a superstar. But I guarantee you he is going to be a quality NBA player for at least the next 10 to 11 years. That takes me to Dalen Terry, five points, three rebounds, two assists, and Dalen has been showing growth, okay? I'm one of those people where at the beginning, I'm not going to lie, I have to be honest. I talked a lot about Dalen Terry and his dribbling, his shot, how he was airballing. I put a lot of jokes on Dalen Terry, but he is putting in the work, and you can see he's trying his best to improve, okay? His handles look better. He's starting to have the game slow down for him, and he's making a mark on the defensive end. He understands that that's how he's going to get on the court, play defense. But not only that, he's looking like he's real, really working on his offensive game and getting comfortable with the three-point shot in the corner. He still struggles from shooting the three at the wing and also at the top of the key. But when it comes to the corner three-point shot, he's definitely not hesitating, and you can see that he's not afraid to pull when he's open. Right, And last but not least... I want to talk about Ayo Desumu, okay? Ayo Desumu has shown that he is a building block for this team with Kobe White. They will be our one and two. They are going to be the two stars for this team taking over going into the future. And I love that Ayo has been talking a lot about how he wants to be a better player, how he's not satisfied with where he was, right? He's not satisfied with the player he was before, and he's going to keep trying to get better each and every season. And it shows. Last season, he could not shoot the three very well. He was hesitating. He knew he played defense. He knew he was being left open and had to work on it. And he spent all summer getting that jump shot down to now he's a fearsome three-point shooter. And not only that, he can pull up on the fast break. But what I want to do, I want to hear from you guys. What do you think about the team for the last couple of games? Leave it down in the comment section, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Oh,